sometimes a movie can be really good, but then the entire thing can be ruined by a bad ending. Today I'm giving you my picks for the top 10 movies that were ruined by their ending. Obviously there are spoilers, so if you don't want a movie spoiled, even if it's a bad ending, fast forward to a movie that you have seen. Number 10, The Boy. This movie started out pretty interesting. It had a good suspenseful mystery to it about a couple that hires a woman to look after a doll that they claim is their son. They give her all these routines she has to follow to the letter and act as if this doll is a real human boy. Meanwhile, all these creepy things start happening and she's wondering what's really going on. There's a lot of creepy events and then the end happens and you find out the couple that hired her has an actual human son who's like 40 years old and has been living in the walls the whole time and messing with her. Like, you already had a creepy doll. That's enough to make a scary movie. So why mess it up in the stupidest possible way that just comes out of nowhere? Number nine, Signs. And my Shyamalan movies are pretty hit or miss, especially when it comes to the endings. And this film is an example of one of his movies that started out pretty good, and then it was ruined by the ending. There's a lot of suspense to this film, and that's all done really well, but then you find out the way to defeat the aliens is with water. Like, if you knew water could kill you, why go to a planet that's mostly water? It makes no sense for the aliens to go to a planet that's mostly water. It just... What were they thinking? Number eight, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Now, this movie isn't good, even without the bad ending, but the bad ending makes it even worse. The main character is pretty blandly written and boring, and for some reason, even though she tried to cause mass genocide, they decided to rename the school after her. Why? J just why? Number seven, X-Men Origins Wolverine. I know a lot of people absolutely hate this movie, but I personally don't have that many problems with it. For the most part, I enjoy it. It's a good revenge movie where Wolverine sets out to find the man he thought was his brother, who has now killed the love of his life. It plays out like a great Western or revenge movie, but then the twist is his wife never actually died. She worked with Sabretooth to fake her death, and then we get a really stupid final battle between Wolverine and a version of Deadpool that can shoot laser eyes and has the same weapons as Baraka from Mortal Kombat. Good setup, but an awful last half hour. Number six, Maze Runner 3, The Death Cure. For no reason, the love interest betrays all the other characters and then at the end sacrifices herself as some sort of thin redemption arc. Also, the main character can just all of a sudden end up with the girl he hasn't been interested in at all up to this point and has no chemistry with. Makes no sense to end it that way. Number five, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Let's make the person who's supposed to be the new leader after President Snow just as bad as President Snow. Kill her off and then have Katniss end up with PETA, even though PETA got captured and brainwashed and basically had to be saved by Katniss. Meanwhile, Gail, who's been taking care of her family, and the only reason she doesn't end up with Gail is because they decide to just have him accidentally drop bombs on Katniss's sister, which completely negates the events of the first one of Katniss replacing her sister in the Hunger Games, completely pointless, since she ended up dying anyway. Like, Katniss went to the Hunger Games to save her sister's life, but she died anyway, even after all that, so just because they wanted her to end up with PETA, who it makes no sense, like, you're gonna end up with the guy who's been taking care of your family, but, no, like, I don't know what they were thinking with that. Number four, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yes, this movie has many problems besides the ending, but the ending is probably the worst part about this movie. It went from being a franchise about ancient artifacts to being a sci-fi movie about aliens, which for the world and tone of Indiana Jones makes no sense, and the writers didn't even really know how to explain the ending. They didn't go to space. They went to the space between spaces. What? I don't know. What, what were... <laughs> Number three, Cars 3. Now, this movie was an excellent tribute to Paul Newman. The themes about getting older and making way for the next generation were mature, especially for a Cars movie. But then they decided to have Lightning McQueen not be able to finish the final race, so they suddenly changed the rules so that anybody with his number counts as that same racer, so they could have the girl car that has been his mentor finish the race for him and get all the credit. Like, that's not how it works. Number two, La La Land. This was a very cute rom-com with a lot of charm. Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling were great together. But then the last five minutes of this movie decide to go from the idealized Hollywood ending and give us a more realistic ending where you find out their relationship didn't work out, Emma Stone is now with somebody else, and while Ryan Gosling is a successful pianist at a club, she still wonders what could have been. Instead of giving us the feel-good ending that would have fit the tone of this movie, 
they decided to slap the audience in the face with the reality of relationships not always working out, which that is true, but this is a movie. This is a movie, a movie about Hollywood. It's supposed to be idealized. They completely missed the point of the whole film. And the worst movie ending I've ever seen goes to old. This had a good mystery akin to a Twilight Zone episode, and I was excited to see where it was going to go. But then the twist happens, and we find out everyone on the island has some sort of medical or mental condition, and they've all been sent there and essentially experimented so they can age as quickly as possible so that they die sooner, so that they won't be burdens on society. It was completely tasteless ending. M. Night Shyamalan should be absolutely ashamed of himself. So there you go. There's my picks for the movies with the worst endings. Share your picks in the comments.